Greetings. I just wanted to share something that hit me recently that I hadn't shared at the beginning of 2024 because this captures memories and memories that I hope to revisit down the road, but I want to share right now with others. And um, this right here, I'm going to be pretty, pretty transparent as much as possible. I don't want to offend anybody. But anyway, every year I pray for a scripture to just kind of chew on, if it's not for the whole year, just for a little bit. And I meditate that I can meditate and pray over my life and that God would give me the vision of where I am right now. And so I, I, January's about down, gone, and I'm like, let me start. So I've been looking at Ephesians 2 and 10, and it is very special. Um, so, of course, we're not taking any scriptures or not intending to take it out of content. But there are two scriptures this year, so... God be the glory. I got two this year. The first one's 516 Matthew, and it's what Healthy Heart season is on this year, to focus on letting our light shine. And uh, you'll see, if, if you uh, will hit subscribe, you'll see where I chatted with people about 516, that our light through our good works, we need to point the works that God is allowing us to do to point people to Jesus. And so that's the one scripture. And the other is Ephesians 2.10. And this gave me so much peace, even the more. You continue to grow from glory to glory. I'm learning, learning and understanding. So uh, Ephesians 2.10, if you want to look it up, but I'll read it. It says, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ for good works, those are good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. All right. And so through life, we're really through this period of time, I've had to deal with um, the imposter syndrome where I'm still being delivered because you can feel like you're not confident or like, this is not what I can do, regardless of what God is showing me. Sometimes you're like, mm, I don't know if I'm, if I'm prepared for this or I'm feeling inadequate. I'm just telling the whole story of my story about where I am with this year. And so it's like, okay, Lord, um, and hopefully this will help somebody else. And, and it's like, okay, let your light shine. Let your light shine. And don't doubt what God is doing in your history. But I kept thinking, well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not able to do like other people do. And then I was told last year, well, Miss Shirley, you know that um, you have competition now. And I almost believed that I had competition. And I continue to have to fight through it. But this scripture is reminding me that I don't have any competition, that I need to continue to grow and shine no matter what goals people set sometimes the imposter syndrome will tell you you can't achieve it but through Christ we can do all things and so I'm like Lord help me help me get rid of this that making me feel that I'm not competent enough to do it and I can't but through him all things are possible if it's according to his will. And so back to those two scriptures, honey, because it's like, Lord, help me. Every day I need his help. Every day that not walk in that imposter syndrome. So this been the sixth season, as I said, Matthew 5, 16, let your light so shine. It's just not to me, but it's to every saint. And so there's, um, you know, people that are encouraging me and don't even know how they're doing it. But this Ephesians 2.10 talks about being his creation, his workmanship, who it reminds me that I'm a work of art. And it's just not me, it's his children. But you got to receive it, have a heart to receive it and believe it. And that I'm a spiritual creation, not just physical, because I know this body don't do what it used to do 20 years ago. But spiritually, he's still working in me and he's still working in you and created in him, in Christ Jesus in him and in him you can do all things as i said so he created this new status of this position before he had it already planned out before i was born 
And I was spiritually dead, but through him I'm alive to live in Christ. And this is so encouraging to me because the enemy wants me to look at the physical and not the spiritual. But my spiritual eyes are looking in and toward Jesus Christ, Matthew 6, 33. So being reminded that we can do all things through him and he improves and he's doing it for me this season, my God, improving my spiritual vision and my spiritual hearing. Yes, he is. He's helping me to discern. And I pray he's doing the same for you to discern the spiritual goings on around me at the same time while living in this physical world. That's what he's doing unto good works. Hmm. Nothing I can do. Not by my personal works, but how he works in me. To God be the glory. And then there, uh, Titus 3, 8. Because hang your head on the word of God. Titus 3, 8 said, this is a faithful sin. And these things I want you to affirm constantly. Don't forget it. That those who have believed in God should be careful to maintain Good works. So don't think you can't if he's called you to do it, child, and you too. These things are good and profitable to men. To God be the glory that we are to point people to Christ. He prepared this, as Ephesians 2, 10 said, he prepared this in advance of our lives. Praise God. So this is encouraging me. So he sorts out our way and the timing for his glory. Don't let folks tell you, what who you are or who you ain't just know what god says he's prearranged a way for us to walk for the believer to walk his way he not only prepared a way this side of heaven but prepared works from eternity before we were born as a result of our position in christ don't forget that philippians 2 13 says for it is god who works in you both to will and to do his good pleasure so, baby, I'm one of his poems. I'm a poem. I'm a masterpiece. And I'm not boasting in myself. This is because him. And everything that I have comes from him. So we deserve nothing but hell. But God, it's only by his grace that he would save us, not just to sit. But he wants true conversion to produce a dynamic faith. And faith causes one to act. There's a radical change. Age has nothing to do with it. I'm reminding myself, there's no competition. He did this masterpiece. He did yours too. And if you are saved, your life is God's love letter to a dead world. So press on. He's written his love in us and on you and through you, child. Don't forget that. He tells this world that he loves sinners. Thank you, Jesus. Because he died to redeem the lost. And I've been redeemed. And I'm not forgetting that. That Ephesians 2.10. I'm a masterpiece. He's doing this. That I might do good works. And so he has saved us. To be a display. Us. So that we can be displayed to the world. So don't try to hide your light. Don't try to hide who he created you to be. Stand up in him. You hear me? So if you're saved. You're God's testimony to the world. That he saved sinners. And he can change you. And let the world see what God has done in you. So don't hold back. Press forward with all your might. I'm telling myself that. Because sometimes you can get like. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. But it starts with surrendering. To Jesus every day, not just when you first got saved, but every day and following him every day. So do you want to know what God's will is for you? Hmm. If you ask him, surrender, receive him as your savior. But if you already know, please know that he's got a purpose for you. Don't let nobody talk you out of it. They'll say what they see, but you make sure you hear from God and know that he's fix this he's done this today for you and i'm reminded that if it's about him for him for his glory i can do all things through jesus christ who strengthens me so self i can do what he called me to do not to worry about any competition i'm just talking about what i'm talking about because i've been empowered by the holy spirit so please pray for me and i'll pray for you that we would know who we are in him who he is, and to trust him with what he's called us to do. So I needed to share my two scriptures for 2024 that I'm chewing on. Not saying I won't have some more, but 
be blessed. And if we can chat about anything, because that's what he's called me to do, check out the mission statement. Let's chat. To God be the glory and thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Continue to pray one for another. But I have been encouraged because he created me. I'm a masterpiece and you are too to be about his business. So know that and be encouraged. Ta-ta from Cha-Cha.